Welcome back to Studio 701. It's more important than ever to work on our overall health. That includes physical and mental health. In today's well-being, we welcome Melinda Padilla Lynch. Thank you so much for being here, Melinda. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, good morning, Melinda. Now, you're an administrative assistant with the Bowman Police Department, and I understand you're behind a conference to benefit some of the people who work behind the scenes in law enforcement. So how did you come up with the idea for this conference? Sure. So I've been with the Bowman Police Department for five years, and, you know, I had no problem taking the job. Uh, I could handle administrative roles. I thought I love my chief of police. I like the hours. But nobody prepared me really for the community side. Um, seeing your neighbors being arrested, um, dealing with some of the trauma that we see and deal with. And then also we serve another role. We serve our officers. And so I started questioning, where is their training for people like me? And where's my network? And so I really kind of came up short and couldn't find anything in local, state, or even the local states around us. So I kind of got a little frustrated, but at the same time I was thinking, well, I know exactly what we need. Why can't I just create it? So I approached my chief of police and I said, hey, I have this crazy idea and he, he's very pro-employee and he said, go for it. So I approached my city council, sorry, my city commission and I said, hey, I have this great idea about creating training for administrative assistance in law enforcement. They gave me the thumbs up and I got on the phone. So this time last year, this was just an idea. I had no, no idea really, I had no budget. And I just started reaching out and making tons of phone calls. And you had that conference in 2020, which is so exciting that you kind of built it from the ground up. And now you're getting ready for the second one. So what can we expect at the second one? How does this benefit people? Sure. So we have found speakers. There's really no one that caters towards law enforcement administrative assistance. So what I did is I researched some other great speakers and I just asked them, would you be willing to research and just sit with me and create a topic of like this year we're talking about culture collaboration, uh, goal setting, leadership and I really want to um, empower people in my position to know that we are the hidden backbone to most departments but at the same time to let them know they have a network they can reach out. We do see the worst in our communities but at the same time there is a beauty in our job that we get to serve our officers. One of the things I like to say is that we serve our officers so they can serve our community better. So wearing these two hats I really had to be really specific in finding uh, speakers and topics that really cater to us. So we are hosting in Bowman in 2020 21 in October and we're hoping between 70 and 90 different um, people will come from four different states. Wow and, and Melinda where do you see this going in the future beyond 2021? Well, um, actually, Stark County Sheriff's Office loved the idea, and they're going to host in 22-23. I'm hoping for more people to come uh, from different states. Um, the other thing that I really like to put out there is I found that this is really helpful because we are unifying across the board. We're just not dividing out sheriff's departments or patrol or just PD. We are unifying across the board, and this is so helpful because I think we have a better understanding of what we do every day, and we do a better customer service, so we're not bouncing calls to each other all the time. And I hope to see that one day that maybe someone at the state level will say, hey, this is a great idea, this is a need, um, and also provide funding. Um, that is one of the hard things. We are in this weird gray area where we are not law enforcement officers, so there's no really a lot of grants for us, and we're not a nonprofit. So we, there is a lot of working with local businesses who support us and want to empower us as people and as employees. Well, I think you're empowering small towns and showing that you can yeah. create something like this and have people come to you. What did you personally get out of the first conference or hope to get out of this next conference with your position? You know, I think one of the things that really I, people were so thankful because they said this is the first time we've ever been remembered. Um, thank you for providing specific training for us. Um, that really brought home to me that this was needed and so for me that was the biggest blessing behind all that that I saw a need and I was able to do it you know I'm just a mom I work part-time but I saw a need and I really just knew that this was needed across the board because our positions are just so unique and that we do kind of carry this um, hidden hidden secrets about our community and we just really need that that camaraderie and that collaboration to really know that people are not alone in this position and that we can support each other and also support our community and our officers. Well, you're doing great things. Thanks. And you brought us a beautiful gift I basket. Did. What What did you bring us in here? Well, I had, of course, bring you some Bowman Police Department swag. Um, <laughs> I'm so proud of our department. I love our chief of police. He's very pro-employee. 
Um, and then, of course, I had to bring you some Bowman County swag for you guys because <laughs> I am really proud that we started this here and that this, you know, we're just a small town and people have to come to us. But at the same time, like, we have so many cool things to offer in our little town and it's so much fun to see people come and they just fall in love with the town when they come. I know the caramel rolls there are amazing. Yes. Uh, as someone who drives through the Bowman many times. Thank you so much, Melinda. Thank you. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you so much. All right. If you have questions, make sure you check out the information on your screen. This is for the upcoming conference that's going to be held in Bowman. And keep it here a lot.